Temperatures can impact any medication a person is taking, but some are more prone to problems than others. And while we may feel the impacts right away physically, medical experts say you may also notice impacts mentally. ABC 6 News reporter Mackenzie Davis spoke with some health professionals on this topic. She joins us live tonight outside of Mayo Clinic with what doctors say you should be aware of. Mackenzie. Well, James and Laura, as you might know, some medications can make us more susceptible to the sun, such as antibiotics. What a lot of people don't know, including myself before doing this story, is that antidepressants can have an effect on your body with the heat, just like you were saying what we saw today with our extreme temperatures. Now, health professionals are letting us know how to keep those medications safe, both outside of our bodies and inside. Insulin is definitely going to be one of those medications, so patients with diabetes should try to you know, not store their insulin in a place where the temperature will get too high. Besides insulin, some of those other medications include antidepressants. Selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs, can make you sweat more, leading to dehydration. Examples include Prozac and Zoloft. On the flip side, some medications can prevent you from sweating including antihistamines like Benadryl. When the body cannot sweat to cool you down, you can become overheated or suffer from heat stroke. Other medications that may cause heat intolerance include blood pressure medication, antihistamines, decongestants, and psychiatric medications. But something that became more popular during the height of the pandemic was getting your medications shipped right to your home. Pharmacist Scott Hall with Mayo Clinic Health System says to make sure those do not sit outside or in your mailbox for extended periods of time. Keeping it in, in those bottles where they can remain sealed um, is, is really going to help prevent any um, negative effects. Of heat. Aside from medications, people can see changes in mood with the seasons, even when you might not expect it. There's always those, op you know, those extremes where people love one or the other. Just like on, you know, like when we have those stretches of like negative 30, when you get those stretches of like 100 degrees. Heather Gertz says extreme heat can take a big hit on your physical health, which is tied to your mental health. We have these amazing long summer days, right? Um, so a lot of times in the summer, um, people's sleep schedules are very disrupted. Um, and so you tend to see some more insomnia um, and that throws off mood. I get outside as much as I can, but I do suffer from depression. So like I get depressed a lot. The heat can cause people to be more irritable and it can increase anxiety and depression. A lot more people are used to hearing the winter blues, um, but it really can happen at any at any time. As always, health professionals say it is okay to ask for help. And if you have any questions about the medications that you're on and the reactions to heat, you can talk with your doctor or your pharmacist. Live in Rochester, Mackenzie Davis, ABC6 News.